Welcome to my review of my Husky 52 inch 15 drawer tool chest that we just got from Home Depot. If you want to learn more about this, stick around. Hey, thanks for joining us today. I'm going to be going over my new Husky uh, 52 inch 15 drawer tool chest that we just got today from Home Depot. Uh, this particular model, I really like it. It's a, I mean, it's a good, good unit and um, it's going to help me actually get organized in my garage and uh, kind of declutter my tools that are kind of all over the place. It's quite a bit of a step up from my Stanley two piece tool uh, box set that I've got right here. We're going from that to this. Quite a difference. Quite a difference. So stick with me for a minute and uh, we'll go into this in more depth here. Now this particular chest comes with some really nice features. First of all, uh, this lid that kind of finishes it off nicely, but some of the perks to it. It's got two different gas strips that help lift it up and guide it closed, which is really nice. Uh, it's not spring loaded, so there's a nice smooth action to it. Uh, you're not gonna pinch your fingers down at the low and uh, you're not going to hurt yourself trying to hoof it down. And then it actually has an LED strip on both sides of the internal with two USB ports as well. One on this side and there's one on this side. Both are switched for power on and power off which is really really nice. And again on this back section uh, it's actually magnetic so you can actually throw a tool here and be able to hold it there for a minute while you're working and then when you need it again, uh, throw it back. In particular for me, when I'm working on something and I have a couple, three, four tools that I'm specifically working on, uh, I'll have a tendency to lay them down one spot or another or set it down on my tool kit and then maybe I don't know which ones I'm using. For this particular uh, box, I can throw those wrenches or the sockets up here. They stick, I know which ones I'm using and I can grab them right back when I'm done. An example, example. So if you need to, you can throw the tools that you're working on and just keep on moving and when you need them again, pull them back. It's a nice feature. You know, another particular nice feature of this box is that it has a kind of a, a weighted pull to it so that way the drawers do not just pop out if you're moving around because it is on wheels. The other side of that, which you might have just seen, is that they're all soft clothes. So you're not going to be tossing your tools around super hard. You can give it a nice soft close and it takes care of the work for you. An additional feature is that this particular unit comes with rubberized mats to go in all your drawers. Each of the drawers has uh, a mat that fits its particular size and then that way you don't have to uh, go buy anything and cut it to fit the particular size drawers. In this case you have 15 drawers so it saves you a little bit of time. This one in particular I really like because this drawer here has this kind of wooden workstation that also doubles as a drawer with a hiding spot. Now, at the moment, less important for me, there's also locks on the top cabinet and the bottom cabinet, so that way you can lock your tools away, nobody's getting in. At this time, that's not something that's particularly important to me. However, in the future, you know, my kids are getting older, and you never know when they're gonna come out here and need a tool to work on something and uh, walk away with it, as sometimes happens. And this one particularly has a, uh, what they call privacy drawer, this one is a separate key for this drawer. So even if you don't want to lock everything up in your uh, main cabinet, you at least have a key for this particular drawer. If there's something in particular that you maybe want to keep safe in here, whether it be maybe titles for your off-road vehicles, like the quads or side-by-side, -side, whatever the case may be, it's kind of nice to have a separate lock drawer. Now another great feature about this is it has this nice heavy-duty handle right here on the side. Just on the uh, right side of it, 
but this allows you to actually steer it. it has two caster wheels uh, on the bottom right side and they both lock so you just push down on the left side of the lock to lock them and then you just click to unlock them and this thing moves around pretty easily it's I mean it's a heavy unit there's no tools in here right now so uh, when it's once it gets tools in it it's probably gonna be quite a bit heavier a uh, lot less manageable but that's all right it is a nice feature to be able to move it around and move it pretty easily especially when you're in a garage and uh, you know the rolling door comes up and down gets dusty and dirty and it'd be nice to be able to move it out of the way clean out from under it and uh, again keep your shop clean and organized so that uh, you enjoy working in there it's a nice environment additional feature on this unit is the built-in bottle opener for those of us who uh, may enjoy an adult beverage every once in a while that has a uh, hard cap that has to be removed got a nice bottle opener now on both sides of the upper box, you have a handle to move it around there on both sides. It's kind of convenient. Uh, I find myself always grabbing for this one since I've been moving it. I brought it home on a trailer today and uh, that seems to be the really sturdy point to, to move it for me. But uh, you can give it a good tug and a push with this one. And since it's movable, it just makes it a little bit harder to move it. Now the drawers on this, uh, on the bottom half particularly, are fairly deep. They're about four inches deep each. This bin down here is pretty deep. It's gonna definitely hold a lot of my uh, bigger tools. Uh, maybe some saws, some air tools, things of that nature. Obviously that's stuff that's uh, gonna change over time as you organize and decide where you're gonna put what. But uh, nice big drawer and lots of space. An additional feature that I do like about this is it actually comes with a light strip up here. This is magnetic, so it is removable. You can kind of put it where you want. You can either put it down here, you can put it up here, put it up here. As of right now, I don't have it plugged in, so I'm going to put it right there. It's going to stay there until I figure out a better spot for it, but an additional light is never a bad thing in a cabinet like this. So you always have a little bit extra uh, visibility. This particular unit holds quite a bit of weight. Total weight is about 2,500 pounds. Each drawer can hold a total weight of about 120 pounds. Uh, they are ball bearing sliders for the drawers. So, you know, this is, it's a real nice unit. I'm super excited to get this. I'm super lucky and fortunate uh, that I was able to get something this nice. And it's gonna be a fantastic addition to my garage and uh, being able to be organized and uh, use something of this quality you know just feels really good it's a good addition i'm excited and uh, i look forward to uh, working out of this in the coming months and years and bringing you guys great projects and content with the tools that are going to be filling this thing up hey thanks for spending a few minutes with me going over this this toolbox and uh, if you enjoyed this let me know down below maybe throw me a like on the video or throw me a comment and let me know what you thought and uh, what your ideas are about this toolbox. Uh, she's not a cheap unit. It's about $900 for this at Home Depot. Uh, I was hoping there might be some kind of sale, but nope. Denied. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for sticking with me and uh, spending this time. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time here at No Gears No Glory. Bye-bye.